Online safety is something that we should all be concerned about, but even more so for children. To understand what the threats are for your kids and how to protect them properly, we've got Lynn Hargrove from Semantic Canada joining us. Thanks for coming on. Oh, you're welcome. So a lot of parents think that, uh, you know, they've talked to their kids about uh, internet safety, they're covered. But that's not always the case, is it? No, it's not. And we just launched a survey across Canada, surveying parents about, you know, what they're doing about their children's online safety. And an interesting result about the survey was that 92% of the parents are having that initial conversation, but then they fall down on execution. So what I mean by that is a third of them aren't executing parental controls. A third of them don't know how to check internet history. And more concerning, half of them don't actually know their children's online aliases. Well, it's kind of freaky because uh, kids, uh, obviously, growing up in today's technology world, they know this stuff inside out. And in many cases, I think it's probably difficult for parents to understand all the different types of communications that they have digitally. Oh, absolutely. If you take social networking sites, for example, MySpace, 41% of the parents surveyed across Canada didn't even know what MySpace was. And as you know, you can certainly post a lot of personal information on MySpace. Not only when you sign up is all your personal information open unless you go into the security settings and close it, but what kind of pictures are your kids posting about themselves, their friends, what kind of personal information is out there. So I think it's parents' responsibility to become more computer literate and to understand where their kids are surfing and why they're surfing those sites. Well, let's talk about social networking. We've got MySpace, we've got Facebook. I mean, there's dozens of these types of sites. And you're so right. When I look up on uh, these sites, you know, you can see kids' pictures up there and they're giving out their home address, their phone numbers. And, you know, 40% of parents don't even know what MySpace is. That's quite uh, disconcerting. It absolutely is, and I think what parents need to be aware of, they need to spend some time with their kids and surf with them. They want, you know, have your kids show you where they're going, what they're doing online, take a look at their instant message list, and make sure that they know all their, are those people that, kids that you know, are there friends that you're aware of? Because what happens, for example, in instant messaging is a friend of a friend will add this person. Well, this person asks you to add that person, and all of a sudden your kids are talking to strangers. And then a few months later, let's meet in real life. Let's go to the mall. And now your child's, you know, interacting with a stranger. So you need to have some rules associated with surfing, just you, like being online, just like you would have in real life rules of the house. You know, if you're going to post a picture, make sure it's, you, you know about it as a parent. Um, how long that they're online, knowing that they're online, where they're surfing, what they're doing. Make sure that the computer is in an open area in the home. Don't let your kids have a PC in their bedroom. Make sure you're walking by and have a dialogue with your kids and tell them that you are checking. Well, super important. I even think about, uh, you know, privacy for the family and security there. You know, these kids on Facebook and MySpace, you know, they post their, their blogs and their thoughts. And, uh, you know, a good example I heard about recently, you know, someone's told everyone, the world basically you know the whole family's going on vacation for two weeks well guess what their house got broken <laughs> into so it's kind of a freaky thing you guys uh, obviously uh, one of the biggest software makers as far as internet security so what are some of the software things that parents can do to uh, help protect certainly implementing parental controls um, that's that's one of the key things as well as making sure that your PC is actually safe before your kids start surfing so having an antivirus having a firewall with intrusion protection and detection is key. Um, you can go onto the Semantic website and do a free security check if you think you might have some malicious code on your PC. Transaction security is the next um, piece of security that's evolving. We've just launched a product called Norton 360 and one of the components of that product is transaction security. So we've all heard about phishing emails where you, your bank sends you an email or, or PayPal or something and it says, we're going to close your account if you don't give us some personal information and you click on a link and you're at a link that looks exactly like PayPal or exactly like your bank. That's a phishing attack and that's a phishing email. And what our new security software does is it goes out and it verifies that that link is actually the link you think you're going to and not a fraudulent site. So that's another component. As well as secure backup. We all have stuff on our PC that needs to be backed up. If you're like me who has thousands of digital pictures and very few printed, if I lost those pictures because I had some sort of virus or some sort of malicious code on my PC, I'd be devastated. So having a secure backup is key. And with 360, we actually give you a space, two gig of online secure backup space. If you don't want to back up at home, you can do it virtually through us. 
Super easy. Absolutely. So I guess the key things, talk to your kids, know what your kids are doing online and obviously protect your computer with software. Yes. Thank you very much. Lynn Hargrove from Semantic Canada talking all about uh, online safety for kids.